name's Catherine Pohl, and I am a dealer in antique textiles. I studied textiles at art school, Central School of Art, back in the 70s. Um, and I designed textiles, uh, mostly for clothes. And, um, but, uh, and I got a craft council to set up a print work. So I began first printing uh, textiles. Um, then after I had children, I started doing antiques, because it was just easier to work around small children rather than getting your head into designing. So, um, and I'd always loved antique textiles. I'd always been inspired by uh, visits to the V&A, looking through all the twelves and things when I was a student. So it felt natural. I love um, the designs. I love the cloth. Um, I love the colors. Um, it's just, the drawings always are very sort of sympathetic and beautiful. I, I, I just sort of love the feel. Um, I love the warmness, uh, the pristineness, the patches, <laughs> everything about um, the things that makes an old textile beautiful. So what I really love is uh, French indigo textiles. That's my um, foremost love. Um, as a child we lived in Africa and Kano. Um, I was about, we moved from the States to um, Nigeria for a little while. My father was an academic. And at night the Tuareg um, men would come with their horses and to, to guard the compound. So they had the indigo turbans <laughs> and the cloth which would rub, they were also called, you know, the blue men, so the indigo would rub on their arms. And, um, and I think that sort of started my um, love of the colour indigo. I mean, I've always been self-employed. Um, when I, um, even though when I started um, my textile designing, it was always working for myself. So I had no, it's, it's never occurred to me, but my mother once did suggest, why don't you, you know, look for a, work for the VNA or become a creator, which kind of now quite appeals to me. But um, then I just wanted to do things my way, which was really important, and have the time and space to work the way I wanted to work. I knew, know it's a complete necessity and the most wonderful calling card. You can lay out your wares um, visually for people to be enticed. So yes, uh, it's completely important to have a website. It's completely vital, completely vital to have actually a good camera, um, to have the lighting, to just to, and have the space. Um, with textiles, colours are quite difficult to um, get, you know, exactly, especially indigo. But um, photography is the main key, really. Great people that, that listened to what I wanted, which was really important to me. Uh, did their best to, within the perimeters of how things worked and how things that needed to happen, sort of what I wanted to do, how I wanted it to look. And it's very easy to use. It's always worked really well and, and, and it's excellent, friendly and um, helpful. I've always bought and sold, well, bought especially with intuition and love and um, that sort of almost a visceral feeling, which may not, uh, so, so for me it works um, 
just loving and immersing myself with, you know, with what I do. Nowadays, I know some people might be tempted to think we've got to have a sort of lifestyle idea of how, um, you know, fitting into what they buy and sell. And, and well, basically, I've, I suppose I've got a, um, it's a business, but you can't always think of it as a, as a business. It's, it's a love and a way of life, basically.